Hello, I am Vinod Joseph, one of the partners in Argus Partners Technology and Data Privacy Practice. Over the next five minutes, I will be discussing one important aspect of the new Digital Personal Data Protection Bill 2022, which is that unlike previous versions of this bill, the latest bill does not afford any special protection for sensitive personal data or for critical personal data. Under the current law, which is the 2011 rules, sensitive personal data gets a lot more protection than personal data which is not sensitive. In fact, Section 43A of the Information Technology Act of 2000 uses the phrase sensitive personal data or information, giving the impression that the 2011 rules, which has been framed under Section 43A, are meant to deal only with sensitive personal data and would not apply to non-sensitive personal data. However, the 2011 rules uses the phrase personal information or sensitive personal data or information in a few instances, though the phrase sensitive personal data or information is a lot more common. Under the 2011 rules, the obligation to obtain prior consent before collecting data applies only to the collection of sensitive personal data, though prior to the collection of any personal data, the provider of personal data should be given the option to not provide the personal data sought to be collected. Thus, it is possible to collect non-sensitive personal data without prior consent under the 2011 rules. It is sufficient if the data principal is notified that his or her personal data has been collected, the purpose for which the personal data has been collected, the intended recipients of the information, and the name and address of the agency that is collecting the information and that of the agency that will retain the information. The 2019 bill did not contain the stark distinction between sensitive and non-sensitive personal data which the 2011 rules did. Unlike under the 2011 rules, collection of personal data under the 2019 bill required the prior consent of the data principal irrespective of whether the personal data was sensitive or not. However, the 2019 bill did offer certain additional protections to sensitive personal data in a few crucial respects. One, when obtaining consent for the processing of personal data, if the personal data is sensitive, the consent of the data principal should be explicitly obtained after giving notice to the data principal. The notice had to contain information such as the purpose for which the sensitive personal data is being processed if the processing is likely to cause significant harm to the data principal. The consent also had to be in clear terms without recourse to inference from conduct in a context. The data principal also had to be given the choice of separately consenting to the purposes of processing or use of different categories of sensitive personal data. Here is another example of how the 2019 bill did offer additional protection to sensitive personal data. Under the 2019 bill, the exceptions relating to the processing of personal data in connection with employment did not apply in the case of sensitive personal data. Here is another example. Under the 2019 bill, all sensitive personal data had to be stored in India and any transfer outside India was subject to a number of stringent conditions. Conditions such that explicit consent has been given by the data principal for such transfer or that the transfer is being made pursuant to a contract or intra-group scheme approved by the Data Protection Authority on the basis that intra alia such sensitive personal data shall be subject to an adequate level of protection in the transfer jurisdiction. Now let's move on to critical personal data. The 2019 bill had introduced a concept of critical personal data, though the exact meaning of this phrase was left to be prescribed by rules to be framed by the central government. Under the 2019 bill and the data protection bill of 2021, critical personal data could not be transferred outside India. The new bill, the 2022 bill, does not mention critical personal data at all. I'll end with this, but I'll soon be back with another podcast on an equally interesting topic. Thank you.